Imagine you're standing in front of a masterpiece, a Van Gogh, a Rembrandt, or perhaps a Vermeer. You're captivated by its beauty, intricacy, and the emotion it invokes. But what if the next moment it's gone, vanished without a trace? Today, we're diving into some of the most audacious, bewildering, and downright jaw-dropping art heists in history. And the big question we're trying to answer today is, where are these stolen masterpieces now? But before we unveil the untold stories behind some of history's most infamous art heists, make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss an episode. All right, prepare yourselves because we're diving into a story that'll make you want to, well, scream. Yes, you guessed it. We're unraveling the twisted tale of Edvard Munch's The Scream. Now, what is it about this unsettling, yet fascinating work of art that has made it a magnet for some of the most audacious thefts in history. Stolen not once, but twice. First in 1994, in a brazen heist that involved a ladder and a broken window, and then again a decade later in 2004, in an operation so well coordinated, it felt like something out of a Hollywood blockbuster. And get this, the 1994 theft happened on the very day the Winter Olympics started in Norway. It's as if this painting is cursed, or maybe it's so riveting that it just pulls you in, making even criminals unable to resist its allure. But here's the kicker. How did this iconic piece find its way back home, not once, but twice? Was it fate, or just really sloppy criminal work? In both cases, the painting's journey back home was nothing short of miraculous. In 1994, Norwegian police orchestrated a sting operation to recover it, nabbing the criminals in the process. Fast forward to 2006, after the 2004 theft, and the painting was recovered in another undercover operation. It's as if the Scream had a GPS beacon calling it back home. Edvard Munch's The Scream seems to have a life of its own, always finding its way back home, no matter the odds. It is a masterpiece that not only captures the human condition, but also eludes the grasp of even the most daring criminals. Stick around, we have more fascinating stories of art and intrigue coming up. All right, folks, fasten your seatbelts because we're leaving Norway and heading across the Atlantic to Boston, Massachusetts. If you thought the scream had drama, wait till you hear about the enigmatic caper at the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum. In 1990, robbers disguised as police officers duped the night guards and walked away with artworks by Vermeer, Rembrandt and Degas. The estimated value of the stolen pieces, hold your breath, $500 million. And the kicker is, they've never been found. This isn't just a museum heist, it's the epitome of art heists. An intricate yet unsolved puzzle that has bewildered investigators and enthusiasts alike. But who were these audacious criminals? Despite countless leads and a $10 million reward, the case remains an enigma. The stolen artworks are like ghosts, often spoken about but never seen. Unlike The Scream, these masterpieces haven't found their way home, O Shetar, yet. So, there you have it, a mystery that continues to baffle us to this day. A crime so perfect, so audacious, it's almost surreal. Will we ever unravel the secrets behind this elusive heist? Only time will tell. Now. We're jet-setting from the US back to Europe to none other than the cultural epicenter of art, Paris, France. Prepare yourselves for a story that not only shocked the world, but catapulted a certain lady to global stardom. We're talking about Leonardo da Vinci's masterpiece, The Mona Lisa. In 1911, an Italian handyman named Vincenzo Perugia donned a white smock similar to museum employees and nonchalantly walked out of the Louvre with the Mona Lisa hidden underneath. Could it really be that simple? For two years, the world wondered where the Mona Lisa had vanished. The intrigue and mystery surrounding her disappearance ironically turned her into the global icon we know today. Everyone wanted to know, where was that enigmatic smile? In a twist of fate, or perhaps overconfidence, Perugia was caught in 1913 when he attempted to sell the painting to an art gallery in Florence. Believe it or not, his intended purpose was somewhat patriotic. He wanted the Mona Lisa to be displayed in Italy, considering it a stolen work of Italian heritage. And thus, Mona Lisa was returned to her rightful home at the Louvre and Perugia, well, he became a footnote in her storied history. The theft didn't just bring Mona Lisa back to the Louvre, it turned her into an eternal symbol of art, mystery and yes, audacity. So that wraps up the journey of the Mona Lisa, 
from a stolen masterpiece to an everlasting icon. What do you think made her so irresistible to thieves and admirers alike? Stick around, because we have more thrilling art heists coming your way. Well, it's been quite a roller coaster, hasn't it? From Edvard Munch's The Scream getting a taste of criminal life, to the Mona Lisa taking an unplanned vacation, and the still unsolved enigma of the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum, heists that have mystified us and captured the public imagination for decades. Let's circle back to the question we posed at the beginning. Why are these masterpieces so irresistible to the criminal underworld? Well, aside from their obvious monetary value, each piece represents something unique, an enduring legacy, a national treasure, or perhaps an irresistible challenge. So where are these pieces now? The Scream and the Mona Lisa have made their way back to their homes, offering a happy ending to their stories. However, the masterpieces from the Isabella Stewart Gardner Museum are still at large, missing pieces in a puzzle that spans art history, crime, and human fascination. It's an enduring mystery, one that keeps both the art world and armchair detectives scratching their heads. Will these artworks ever be recovered? Only time will tell. This has been an incredible journey through the fascinating world of art heists. If you found these tales as thrilling as we did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell. Who knows? Maybe our next video will have answers to some of these unsolved mysteries. Thank you for joining us on this exploration of history, art and crime. Until next time, stay safe.